Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video. Today back on Giants Franchise. I know it's been a little bit. A lot of other stuff going on on the channel recently. Obviously a bunch of rebuild videos starting that new Kyler Murray series potentially. Uploaded episode one of that already as I record this. Not sure when this video will go out. And I've been doing, what else? Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty. That's been going really well lately. So things are good. But this is the team. Kyle Loletta coming off a pretty monster performance, if I recall. Where, where can we see stats here? Stats and contracts is probably a good place to start. Last week, I don't know if we can go week by week, but in 2021, he's having a decent season, about 3,000 yards, 22 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. We'll have to see how that shakes up with his career stats, but absolutely won Offensive Player of the Week last week. He just threw for way too many. Oh, it went to Odell. Really? Odell had a great game, to be fair. Six catches, 255, and three touchdowns. Big reason why uh, Kyle Loletta had all the numbers that he did, but Kyle threw for like 530 yards. Regardless of what happened last week, though, it is a new week, and we've got a new opponent in front of us, and that is the 4-6 and six Washington Redskins. We are going to upgrade our players quickly, and there's going to be three players, really, that we need to work on. Landon Collins, it's going to be zone coverage. Need to improve in that regard, so he goes out to a 97 overall. Plus one zone coverage. I guess I'll take that. That's not terrible. Morris Dubose, I think it's going to be zone coverage as well. Just because zone's what we run primarily, and it's just the best for us. It works the best. Would love to get him up to 99. Awareness goes up a lot, but unfortunately zone only gets a plus one. And then Aldrich Rosas will be the final one. And, uh, I mean, can never get enough power, although it will just be a boost to awareness, I'm sure. Yeah, plus two to awareness. It, I don't know, it kind of annoys me with kickers and punters the way upgrades work. But what are you going to do? It is what it is. Let's get into it. We are 8-2 and two and a 95 overall. The Redskins are, what, 4-6 and six and an 86 overall. We are away. We're going to come out in the all-whites. And the Redskins are going to wear... Well, I guess you guys will see in-game. Giants, Redskins. We're going to be at FedEx Field for this one. As you can see, that's actually pretty good timing. Way to go, Madden. I like that. Fireworks going off. The spectacle is about to begin. We are in the beautiful color rush, and the Redskins are in their alternate classic retro uniforms, and they look very, very nice. But are they going to play well? They don't dance well, as we can see. It remains to be seen. Let's jump right into it. We're going to start, kick off, get this thing underway. It is a packed afternoon game, and we'll see what the Redskins do. It's Kiaho getting the ball first. And he is wrapped up. Nice tackle. Good kick coverage. That was Nat DeGear. It's going to be play action. First play of the game. Going out to the flat. That's Erickson. And he's going to turn up field and pick up the first down. Alex Smith obviously checking down. Going to the flat there. Blitz was coming in, so you can't really blame him. But he is captain check down for a reason. Couldn't quite get in there and get, uh, get the sack. We got the pressure. But it's a fresh set of downs for the Redskins. And that is a great play by Morris DuBose. Way to get the hand in there. That's Angulo who couldn't come up with it. Of course, that's right. Alexander Espinoza is out for a significant amount of time. So that is unfortunate. That means Raquan McMillan is stepping over uh, and playing a lot of middle linebacker now. Stepping in, I should say. It is third down and seven. Let's go ahead and get the stop here. That was, that was good work by Lawrence Thomas to shed and wrap up. But this is a very important third down. Shotgun set for the Redskins. Smith going to roll out, throw short, and of course, cover two, which should be designed to cover that. Doesn't at all, as Morris DuBose has taken up the field. you got to go specifically hard flats if you want the flats to get covered. But then that leaves you exposed to anything. Every time I go hard flats ever, they just send a streak. And then I'm gone. I'm like, oh, well, 
I guess maybe I shouldn't have done hard flats. Watch. I'm going to do hard flats on this one. It's going to be a streak. Someone's going to be wide open. Unless maybe I move Collins and James over and try to play the deep middle. As, of course, it's a play that destroys hard flats. It's curl flats. It's just, it's just beatable. Oh, great tackle by Julius Manning. That's why we love having him as an in-the-box safety. Comes down, wraps up, always in the right position. We drafted him as a safety before we had Derwin James, obviously, if you remember that. But he is a very, very good player. Third and eight. We have a spy here. And they're going over to Angulo. Morris Dubose was nowhere to be found. Landon Collins wraps up. We were in hard flats there, and guess what? They ran verticals. Obviously, not a great call on third down because we can afford to give up the underneath. We can't afford to give up over the top. It's a bad play call. I guess I didn't realize as Darius Geis walks clean into the end zone. Easy touchdown, and we've been dominated by the Redskins early. We've had no answer for what they're doing on offense. Defense is going to need to step up. First and 10, we're going to play action early. And we're going to roll out, throw down the field, just out of bounds, thrown away. We're lucky not to take a sack there, honestly. That was very close. Second and 10. Wide open. Loletta hits Evan Ingram easily. Good catch by Evan Ingram. Way to control that through, uh, through traffic and through the, kit, the hit, contact, whatever. <laughs> Handoff now goes to Barkley. Wow, we had good blocking too. Is that Calais Campbell on the shed? Some Campbell. No, it's not. It's a, a creative player, it looks like. I shouldn't say creative player. I mean, like, auto-generated by the CPU. Which, I guess, created by the CPU. Trying to get to the outside. Saquon breaks a tackle. Will Hernandez is just a little bit too slow. And it looks like the Redskins are going to be on top of the running game today. Third down and six. We're going to step up with Lalletta. We have space. It's White Lightning. Diving forward. Picking up 23. What a playmaker. Oh, they're sending a blitz. Let's go quick. We're going to send out two streaks. We're going to have a dump off. We even have three. We're going to go quick to Ingram. He's open. Great speed from the tight end. Playing in the slot. Taking advantage of the mismatch. And it's an easy first down. Offense coming to play today. Handoff, Barkley trying to turn up field. Good tackle. Struggling to get things going with him so far. Last week wasn't even a great game. 13 rushes for 66. It really was the Kyle Aletta show, though. He passed for a lot, so it's hard to get the running game going. Detroit, Detroit. Allen in motion, second and goal. Throwing it up. Wow. Wow. Great defense. Tried to give uh, Evan Ingram a jump ball. He was so influential on this drive. And that's just better defense. Third and goal. It's going to Barkley. Up the middle. Touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Hand it off to one of your best players. Let him make the play. And the offensive line was fantastic. Saquon walks in untouched. And we're going to tie this thing up at seven. To run, Geis, looking for space, can't find it. He finds Dalvin Tomlinson. A run defense has been good, as it usually is. Pass defense has been a little bit of a different story. Going to have to look to improve that as they go underneath. Big hit. But unfortunately, Jamison Crowder holds on. It will be third down, six yards to go. Let's step up, let's make a play defense. Let's force a punt or force a turnover. Either way, let's be a force. As that is wide open in the flat. It's Jamison Crowder. Let's play action. Trying to get back with the Lorenzo Carter. That's got to be an interception, and it is. It's Morris Dubose, and he's got some speed, and he has a lane to the outside. Trying to spin it back. Good return to about midfield. I don't know where that pass was going, but it was not good. That's only Dubose's third interception on the season, but he's been a lockdown corner for us for the most part. 
Wow, immediate shed there, and we just tried to get anything we could. Cleo Mack, of course, wearing number 99. He was involved in that play. We just can't seem to find the running lanes for Saquon Barkley as Odell wide open, lobbing it up down the sideline, complete easily to Odell Beckham Jr. Good touch pass from Lawletta. We have the easy first down. 31 yards on what I believe is Odell's first catch of the game. Wow. Didn't even see the pressure. That's Campbell on the sack. And uh, Trent Brown's got to be the worst left tackle in the league. Has good ratings, but obviously you guys see him practice. Doesn't hold his block for too long. I should have gotten rid of the ball earlier. That's no excuse, but still. And then we take another sack. It's just running back and waiting for things to get open, and they don't. Time it's Khalil Mack. Back-to-back -back sacks puts us at third and 34. Again, I am, of course, somewhat to blame for these. As we're rolling out, looking for open guys. There's Odell, and he can't hold on. And I believe we're out of field goal range now as well. All right, 57? I mean, I'll try it. Interesting win situation. We'll give it our best shot. And that could be perfect. Kick up. Coming back. And good. We go up 10 to 7. Big kick by Aldrich Rosas, but it's unfortunate not to walk away with a touchdown there. Can't run the ball, can't pass the ball. It's going to be tough to score points. I think I'm going to like this play a lot. Feels like most of the field's going to be covered here. And it's actually going to be a run. There's nowhere to go. Not for Darius Geis, not for Kiaho. It doesn't matter who you bring out there, there's no space. And now it is third and eight. Let's come out and cover four. Play clouds. And we will protect the six. Play over the middle. There's just so many options. But of course, Captain Checkdown doesn't wait for it. He checks down, gains nothing. And now Washington's going to have to punt. Great tackle by Julius Manning down there in the flat. Dubois back to return. It's a decent block. He's just so fast. Good spin back. He returns it to the 41. Please just give me time on third and 10. We're going to throw it over the middle. Jesus. Nearly intercepted. Am I just blind today? I know I haven't played Madden in a while, but... Is, is everything really covered, or... <laughs> am I just absolutely blind as a bat? I'm probably blind. But you guys remember, if there's one thing I can do, it's punt the ball well. I don't know why. I can't kick field goals. I can't run an offense. But my punts are second to none. They're incredible. Let's play action. That's got to be a safety, and it is. BJ Goodson was there first, and he took him down. We're going to go up by a weird score of 12 to 7. Oh my god, what a spin move by Howard Russell. Fooled everybody. A good tackle from behind there by Kella Witherspoon. I mean, a blitz is coming in. I might just dump it off to Barkley really quickly. Depending on who's on him. Can't find anything. Someone turn up field. And I, I pressed a button. He just didn't throw it. That's Preston Smith. Good lord, man. I'm looking for something to get open. They're covering everything. And pressure, of course, constantly coming in. I'm struggling here heavily. And we have a, uh, a lineman down. It's Pone Gardner. Last thing we needed was uh, more offensive line trouble. Now we have a backup right guard in the game. Perfect. Barkley, please, thank you. Good speed. Good ability to make somebody miss. And we have a first down. For the first time, it seems like a while. And, of course, Pone Gardner has dislocated his help. J.W. Hilton will be his replacement. At right guard. Seven rushes for 15 yards with Saquon. This, it shouldn't be that hard. 
given the overall difference, man. We can't run the ball. We can't pass the ball. It's getting extremely frustrating for me. Second and ten. Let's break one, please. Good juke back. Saquon breaking a tackle. First down. Maybe that's the start of something here. Blitz coming off that right side. Maybe the counter is going to be perfect. It's Carlos Kershaw. He's just not fast enough, and we run into the back of our own offensive lineman and get tripped up and fall down. Evan Ingram wide open. The only guy that seems to be able to make a play for us today. When we go to him, we're successful. When we don't, we're not. Barkley over the middle. Good catch down inside the five. Second and two. Looking for something. We're just going to step up with Alletta. Get pushed out of bounds. Third and three. Please blitz. That looks to be open. It's Howard Russell. How do you drop the ball there? There is so much time before you even touched. We're going to have to settle for another field goal. It's brutal out here. As we go up 15 to 7. What a weird score. Oh, Morris Dubose almost jumped that. And I don't expect to score every single time I have the ball. I think it's unrealistic and wouldn't be good for the series. But I feel like against this team, I'm having way too much of a hard time. It's my opinion. Also having a really tough time stopping them. They've only scored seven. But it feels like they've been dominating us. Smith rolling out. Throwing deep down the field. And I don't even... I, it, that was a weird animation. It falls incomplete either way. Third and ten. This has got to be... This got to be a good stop. I like this defense based on, on what they're sitting in. I think we're going to be successful here. And they're going to lob it over the top. And somehow Jordan Reed catches it through traffic. It breaks a tackle. Falls forward. Easy first down. Eh, it's just... It's just too much for me at this point. Washington, you you know, managing the clock pretty liberally here. That's going to be good defense, I guess. Wish it was a user pick. They're going to settle for a field goal, I would imagine, with five seconds to go. That's going to put the score at 15-10 to 10 going into the half. We receive. So there is that. Wow, I thought that kick was going to be wide left at first. We're going to have one second... I'll just see you guys for the start of the third quarter, I would imagine. So it was certainly an interesting first half. We're going to look to be a lot better in this one. So we return to the 22. I hate the blocking on kick returns now. It's just, ugh. We got Barkley deep. We're going to go to it. Saquon! Off his hands. That's good defense, to be fair, but come down with it, man. There's Evan Ingram open again. He breaks a tackle. Ooh, tried to stay in bounds there. He's got like all of our yards almost. 73, yeah. That's, that's quite a bit. And I just walked back into a sack again. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. There's nothing. Trent Brown gets beat again. Just hold your block, please. That's open. Evan Ingram catches it. DJ Swearinger tried to make an unbelievable play and couldn't. I would have been pissed considering it looked open. But we pick up the first down. Ingram's fifth catch of the game. He's getting super involved. Odell open over the middle. Kyle, I swear to God. <sighs> I know I can barely speak right now because I'm, I'm really mad. I don't... Every time the game comes out with a patch, it ruins every single slider I have going on. Every single time. It's unbelievable. We're going to step up again. Nothing but green grass. We're going to slide. Every single time. Kyle Aletta, who was looking good earlier, now can't hit any pass I try to throw. Nobody gets open. Nobody plays defense. Why do they have to ruin the game for me every single time they make an update? And like, don't make that play. Don't be diving in a position to make that. That's Monte Nicholson. We're not talking about Earl Thomas here. I know what we completed. I'm still kind of like, I, I don't know if you call it complaining, but I mean, you could. 
Shots open. Good lob. Sterling Shepard. Be faster. Good spin back inside the 10. Going to be first and goal from the 9. Why is Carlos Kershaw in the game? Someone explain that to me. Rolling out. Looking for something. I know Barkley's there. We're going to motion him over. Dunk it down. Cut up field. Break a tackle. And he's out at the 2. I feel like there could have been more there. Third and goal. Who's going to get open? Probably no one. Throw a quick. See, uh, It's just an unbelievable diving play by DJ Square Andrew, who knows where I'm going with the ball before I do, apparently. Not like you can stare anything down. It's a video game. But we do convert again with a field goal. 18 to 10. What an offensive showcase. To draw, break off of it. Darius Geis has some room. Takes a big hit from Derwin James. But that's his real first positive gain of the day. Our big one. I know he had a touchdown earlier, but that was really his best run. That's mine. User pick. Easy reads. BJ Goodson with the giving tree. Easy read. Someone's like, oh, it's very cringy when you say the actual uh, name of a book after. It's like that's the whole the whole joke is that it's an easy read, and then you name something that's an easy read. It's the whole pun. There's there's nothing without that one part. That's the entire joke. It's the punchline, if you will, that that ties it together. It's not supposed to be like ha ha funny, but it's you know it's like I don't know. If you don't get it, you don't get it. I guess it's not gonna not gonna complain about everything. We're going to throw that ball. Laletta to Odell. No, it's Sterling Shepard. Excuse me. I thought that was 13 in the slot. It was 87. Maybe I need glasses, but great catch from Sterling Shepard. We had some open targets, but he looked like he was getting open, and he did. Second and goal. Hand it to Saquon. Spin back. Power through. Down at the one. Averaging two yards per carry. Well, 2.8. So, like, three. We're going to hand it to him again. We're just going to say our offensive line hopefully is better. I can't snap the ball. Nah, they, they completely shut us down. They were in the back too before we even snapped the ball. Another field goal. 21-10. Not three touchdowns, no. 40 field goals. Great play by DuBose again. He's just a really, really good player. Definitely our most consistent on defense. Like, he's screwed up before, but, you know, who hasn't? Have we gotten any pressure on the QB today? I don't think so. But again, what's new? Ah, uh, I tried to get over to that. They didn't really gain much. Get there, Thomas! Let's go, baby! Of course, that'd be a flag in uh, the actual NFL, but we have roughing the passer off, so ridiculous plays like that can happen. Lawrence Thomas on the sack. And Washington will punch. Just what I'm talking about, no pressure. Finally, we get pressure. Rolling out. I mean, we have some targets. We're going to throw that underneath the Keenan Allen. Well-placed ball by Laletta, finally. Going with a shot play. I think we have him down the sideline. Keenan Allen catches the ball. Let's go. We had him beat, too. We had a weird animation where the corner caught up to him. Made a play, but Keenan Allen just too strong. Holds on to it. We finally convert in the end zone. I would love to. Keenan Allen's looking for his 50th touchdown. Might try to force the ball over there. DJ Swearinger's on him, though, so there's no way we're going to be able to throw it to him. That's open, though. It's Evan Ingram. Touchdown. He's had a fantastic game today. Now he finally gets into the end zone. And we've scored a touchdown. I hardly believe it. But it's going to be 28-10. We go from no offense to three plays, 70 yards, and a touchdown. It's, it's weird how it works sometimes. The screen... Are you kidding me? I'm all over it, baby. Easy reads. Got to throw out the green eggs and ham for this one. Lorenzo Carter, pick six. What a throwback. Can't throw underneath. Read that perfectly. That's what I'm talking about. 35-10. To draw. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Good tackle by Cam Jordan coming back. Thought that was going to be a gain of like seven or eight. Only allowed 28 yards. See, like, that's another thing that could be changed. They need their run blocking to be a bit higher. Like, they have Brandon Scherf at right guard. He's 
very good. I feel like they should be averaging more than like two yards per carry. But that's a user pick, easy reads, hop on pop. Raekwon McMillan pick six. So, you know, it happens. All right, please, I, I wish I didn't do dance. I get, a, get it off the screen, please. I get it, yeah, you hate usering sometimes. Because it looks like it's been, you know, a blowout now when it clearly it hasn't been. But, uh, you know, if I see the ball, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack it. What are you gonna do? I'm just, I'm just too good, and I know a lot of people can't handle it. <laughs> nah, I, I, I'm not. I'm bad. But I do use her well. Oh, um, Lawrence Thomas with his second sack of the ball game. Just six minutes to play. That's his fifth sack of the season. Great pressure from the interior, honestly. Oh, you gotta intercept that. You gotta intercept that, Julius. How many chances do you get? I don't want pass deflections. Third and 17. Let's get a sack. They're just gonna hand it off. And it's a big game. Why are you... I, I mean, I, I know they're, they don't have a chance to come back, but that's just giving up. They're gonna fake punt. The pass is dropped, thankfully. Dude, they downed Saquon before he even went down. That was not going to be a gain of three. There's no way. I do actually have to take a look at this one. They downed it like right here. Yeah. You see where the knee goes down? That was like a five-yard gain. Good blocking. Saquon's fast. Spin back inside. Spin back outside. Breaking a tackle. His best run of the game. There we go. Oh, wow. DJ Swearinger is the best safety in the game. I'm convinced. But Saquon's over 1,000 yards. There we go. Third and three. Saquon back in the game. Only four down linemen, but they had a fifth in the box. It was uh, almost working as one. It was a linebacker. Jonathan Allen, great shed. Great tackle. Right, we're going to try another field goal. Ooh, this one might be a little bit wide right. But it sneaks in. 45-10. Two minutes to play. And uh, we'll see if Washington can muster any type of offense. Oh, it's an interception! BJ Goodson! Not even an easy read. He just gets it by himself. Alex Smith threw it right to him. It's his fifth interception on the season. Second of the ball game. Go, Saquon. It can't turn up field with the way that it the running works in this game. But that is going to be the ball game pretty much. Might get him one more touch if he's in the game. Now, it's going to be Carlos Kerr. Is he our third down running back? I don't know. We'll get him another carry. There he goes. Oh, my goodness. Great run. Ten yards. But that is the ball game. Uh, we struggled early. And then the interception started rolling in with the user picks. And the game kind of changed at that point. But a win is a win. And uh, we're going to improve to 9-2. and two. We have playoff aspirations. I think we can make it. <laughs> Pretty sure. Well, let us 17 for 28. 302 and a touchdown. Not terrible, I guess. And then rushing Saquon. We just couldn't get it going until the end of the game. He averaged more like three yards per carry, but he got it up near four, which is good. Evan Ingram was a beast today. He was fantastic. Couldn't really get anyone else going. I mean, Odell one catch 31 yards, but he didn't get open most of the game. So it's kind of tough there. Big tackles for loss for a lot of the Washington guys. One for Julius Manning. It was our only tackle for loss. And then we got sacked all game. But Lawrence Thomas had two. B.J. Goodson had one. Good pressure from us. And then interceptions, B.J. Goodson, two. He had a great game overall. Raekwon McMillan with one. Lorenzo Carter with one. And, of course, Morris DuBose with one. Bunch of upgrades that we will spend in the next episode. We'll figure out who Teron Scroggins is. And um, how long is this dislocated hip going to leave our right guard out of the game? Seven weeks? Just get it back in. It's annoying. Yeah, it's annoying is really all you can say. 
But next week, we play the Falcons in week 13. It's a home game. This might be our toughest test of the season. They are 8-3. and three, And we are still not out of the woods in the NFC East. Cowboys very close behind. But that will be in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Kyle Lotta, Player of the Week. Great. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah. Okay.